Good day to you everyone, my name is Whistler and welcome back to my 1.18 survival series. I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. So we are here in the Valley of Plenty once again and I still have a very angry witch trying to kill me over here and that's just fine because you can't get me from here, can you, you witch? Yeah, that's what I thought. But anyway, I hope to eventually get 15 bookshelves today, and I'm not going to get that without some cows. So we're going to be breeding these guys up throughout this episode, and hopefully we'll have a whole bunch by the end for me to kill. But that is not the main goal for today's episode. The main goal is to go to the nether. And I do believe that there is a lava aquifer in that direction over there somewhere. And the reason why I'd like to go to the nether is because I would like glowstone so that I can craft the redstone lamp that is missing from my enchanting tower. I wish to put that in my build. And I do believe that the lava aquifer is just on the other side of this water aquifer, surprisingly enough. It's kind of strange that these things generate so close to each other. Uh, but yeah, here's the lava one. So... Let's mine a bunch of obsidian so that we can make ourselves a nether portal. So, one of the changes that I've made since the last episode is uh, we're no longer running on Optifine. We are now running on Sodium, and the reason why is because the replay mod has updated to 1.18, and unfortunately it is no longer compatible with Optifine for whatever reason. So... We're now running with Sodium. It has also meant that I've had to download a bunch of other mods to try and get the same experience that Optifine gives, like the dynamic lighting and the zoom. We're using logical zoom at the moment. Shout out to Logical Geek Boy there. But yeah, let me know if you think the performance is better or worse. We'll see how it goes. I have noticed already in creative testing that uh, water behind stained glass is a little bit weird and a bit rather glitchy. As in, like, you don't see it. But that's alright, we don't have any of that in our world at the moment, so we won't see that. And I think 40 obsidian will be enough for our nether portal. We're not going to go for the minimum size, we're going to make a rather tall boy. A rather tall portal to the underworld. I'm trying to think what I wanted to say just then. <laughs> oh, there's another lava aquifer just here. That's good to know. Good to know. And while we're on the topic of the nether, I should probably craft myself some golden boots, because otherwise... I might be attacked by piglins. And just to make our boots a little bit better, we'll just enchant them. Just protection 2 there, that's fine. It does offer a little bit more protection than just the regular gold boots. So we'll take it. And for our nether portal, I'd quite like it to be situated in the side of the mountain here. So let's just go ahead and carve ourselves out a spot. There we go, we're going to have a 7 wide base. And we'll go for another 12 blocks up. So it's like a, a 7 by 13 nether portal size, if you know what I mean. Nice and large. Oh, hello. What have you got? You've got an acacia sapling. That's the last wood type in the overworld that I don't have. Okay, you just stay there. I'll be back in just a jiffy with uh, some emeralds from the village nearby. Um, I've just got to work out how I'm going to get those. I think a Fletcher and sticks is going to be the best option. So, hello, sir. Do you do you mind taking this job? You do. Thank you very much. Uh, let's just craft some sticks. There we go. And he's got the trade. That's excellent. So, there we go. We're going to get ourselves some minerals like this. And the awesome thing about Fletchers is that they can also sell you bows. And that is uh, something I would quite like anyway. And not as a conventional weapon. No, we're not using them for that. No, I just want to be able to craft dispensers in this world. I, I'd quite like to start up a sheep farm at some stage. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep this Fletcher safe so that he doesn't die from zombies and whatnot. So it's going to be in that dirt box up there. Hopefully I will recognize it when I come back. <laughs> Otherwise I'll be lost forever. Hello, sir. You're still here. That's good. Acacia sapling. We'll grab two of those. And now we no longer have to find a savannah biome. That's fantastic. Who knows how far away one of those might have been. I'm not 100% sure of like how common all of the biomes are now in 1.18. I definitely feel like the rarities have changed. But anyway, Mr. Wandering Trader, your time has come. There we go. He's dead. Your llamas are mine. In fact, they will recognize me as their new master very soon. Is this an evil thing to do? Who knows? Don't ask questions. But anyway... We'll just add these two trader llamas to the other trader llamas in the pen over here. Alongside the donkey. Oh, they're still going for me. Oh, look at them just pulling on the ends of their leads. 
They still can't reach me. They never will. But I believe it's time that we should light our nether portal. There we go. So let's head into the nether and see where we come out. I have no idea what's on the other side of this. Hopefully we've got a good spawn loading to rain. Come on. Be something good. I'm in the void. I'm standing on nothing. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. The world has loaded. I appear to be in another waste biome. That is rather boring, I'm going to have to say. <laughs> Come on, give me that new 116 terrain, please. I want to spawn in like a, a warped forest or something. That could be cool. But I do think it's a good thing that I came in here with golden boots because we are going to be running into piglins. Ah, there's the 116 terrain. We've just got a basalt delta. This isn't too far from the nether portal. It's only about 50 blocks. <laughs> That's good. We're going to have good access to basalt and blackstone. But I came in here for glowstone, so let's just harvest up a bunch of this. There's two clusters just here, which is pretty lucky. Oh, there we go. Let's just pick all of this up. Hopefully we're going to get a lot out of this. It's two stacks and 34. Excellent. That should be more than enough for today. <laughs> and that's 40 blocks total. Perfect. So let's just quickly finish off our enchanting tower. We'll remove that block and replace it with the redstone lamp. This is like a, a small feature that no one will ever notice. Like, I don't think I'll ever be looking at this enchanting tower when there's a thunderstorm. But, you know, sometimes the little things are cool. So we're going to keep the little things. And how does that look? Yeah, it looks fine, I think. We've still got a nice spiky ball at the top of the tower. <laughs> All right, then. Our next goal in the nether is to hopefully find a nether fortress. And this is one of my issues with the nether. I can't see. I have a personal vendetta against the nether fog for everyone that's new here. I know there's quite a lot of you. And yeah, it's it's awful. I've got to say. That's one of the things I'm going to miss about Optifine. I've got to try and find a replacement somewhere that actually works. <laughs> Right, I think the only way down is to build, like, my own staircase. So, let's just go ahead and do that. Hopefully, I'll be able to find my way back to it at the end of this trip. Ah, mushrooms. You know what? Let's take a few of these. You never know when you need a few mushrooms. Like, uh, the brown mushrooms. Oh, maybe I could use those for villager curing or something. But we only need a few. We can grow them back home. That will do for now. Oh, boy. <laughs> that looks precarious. Let's not lose our footing here. Nope. No, nope, go away, Gast. No. Nope. Oh, can I... Can I return to sender? This might be, uh... This might be more difficult than uh, it usually is with no bow. <laughs> Am I even able to kill Gasts at the moment? Is there something I can do against these guys? Do snowballs work? I don't know. We're going to have to do some experimenting. Maybe there's something I can do with these guys? Oh, there's two of them now. <laughs> okay. I think it's time to retreat. Um, I can't deal with this at the moment. <laughs> I don't think they take damage from snowballs, but I know that snowballs are useful in the nether. I think they might be able to hurt blazes, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Oh, this is fantastic. We've got a warped forest as well. This is probably a couple hundred blocks away from the nether portal. I think the biggest shame really is that I've come here without silk touch, so I can't pick up the warped nylium, unfortunately. And oh my goodness, I've just looked at that enderman. Nope, nope. Um, stick down. There we go. Uh, okay, I'm safe. <laughs> oh, you almost had me there, mate. But not today. And there he goes. Thanks for the ender pearl. That makes three. Oh, no, not again. Is there, like, a better method of aiming this thing? Because at the moment, like, I send the fireballs back and it just misses the gas. I need to practice, I think, really, is what's going on. It's I think it's more annoying that the gas just keeps moving around. So even if you do hit the fireball back at it, it's just gonna it's gonna move again. So uh, let, let's just run away from this guy for now. Uh, we'll work out a proper way of dealing with them in the future. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's a way I can get warped Nylion. This is perfect, Enderman. This is actually really, really perfect. So uh, I don't know what he's holding. I think if we kill this Enderman, he'll drop that block for me. And then we can plant the warped uh, fungus back at home. So, let's do that real quick. Hopefully we'll kill this guy before he uh, places the block. We'll try and do this as quickly as possible. But uh, I've just looked at the second Enderman as well. That was a mistake. <laughs> That's fine though, we'll kill them both. That's one. 
And he's dropped the warp denialium as well. That's fantastic. And there goes the second one. And he's dropped the pearl. Fantastic. So that's four pearls. And we've got warped denialium as well. Without silk touch. I'm a genius. Oh. Okay. So I've just come across a bastion. By the looks of things. This is not the nether fortress I was looking for. But it is still something very interesting indeed. Oh, look at that brute. Don't know how I'm going to deal with them at the moment. I think my lava bucket will do the trick, though. Yeah, it probably will. I don't think we'll raid this thing fully today, though. Because I'd quite like to get more prepared, like, armor-wise. And also, explosives-wise. I've got a few ideas in that regard. <laughs> so it looks like what we've got here is a hoglin stable. Which is why the hoglins have spawned here. They're easy enough to kill with the lava, though. And they've just dropped me some leather. Which is fantastic. Now then. I'd like to take one chest at least those were the days and hopefully we'll get something good out of it and we'll leave the rest for another time hello brute i'm claiming your life for my own with the lava bucket there he goes first brute kill of the world and i haven't even used a conventional weapon you can die too mr piglin all right i do believe that there is a chest somewhere over here just down there we go Okay, let's just block ourselves in though so that I don't anger everything in the nearby vicinity. Alright then, show us your loot. Uh, okay, we've got some gilded blackstone, arrows, iron. I don't need the arrows, they're useless in this world. I will take the chains too, but this could be... That definitely could have been a lot better though, I'll be honest about that. <laughs> I think one chest will do for now though, so I think we should probably head back home again. I've struggled to find another fortress, there's been nothing for a very long time other than that bastion. So I think we'll call this trip and we'll try and find ourselves a fortress another time. Oh, this is a bit of a coincidence. <laughs> this enderman holding the warts nylium is right next to the hole from before. Okay, round number two. Here we go. Thank you very much. That makes two blocks of warped nylium that I can place wherever I like. Ah, so there appears to be a second bastion. Okay, let's just get those coordinates down. Thank you very much. It looks like we've got a soul sand valley as well. It's not too far away from the portal. That's good. I don't see a nearby fortress though, unfortunately. That is a bit of a worry. I was hoping for one that was somewhat nearby, but I guess not. And we're back to the nether portal. Okay, let's head back to the overworld and we'll build ourselves a, uh, a custom nether portal or something. That could be cool. So I'm not quite sure what we're going to do here. So we're just going to improvise and we'll see how it goes. I hope you enjoy that time lapse, everyone, because we now have the replay mod again. So yeah, let's go. I've just got to say, though, I've had a couple of comments saying, oh, just use a sword or an axe. This is ridiculous. Or, oh, dude, it feels so unsatisfying to see you not using a sword. And I'm just gonna say, okay, okay. You win, I will use a sword. Just this once, just for you. I will use a sword. So, there we go. And then we'll use it in our furnace over here. There we go. We can use it to smelt our copper up. And is that gonna give us one item? There we go. One copper ingot. Do you feel satisfied yet? I don't. That was pretty lame. <laughs> but yeah, let's start that time lapse. And welcome back everyone. I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. We now have a completed custom nether portal. And it's all just fantastic. It's got loads of copper and deep slate. And I'm hoping that this makes the valley a little bit more steampunk themed. Because I don't think my starter house was doing that. It might have been doing that a little bit. But maybe this is the, the vibe that I'd quite like to veer towards. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, everything looks really metal here. And we've also got a lot of stream lights here. We had to go to the nether for that. We grabbed like a full stack. We didn't use all of it, though. I think we still got a few blocks left. That wasn't the only thing we did during that time lapse, though. We also fought a magma cube on the way back home, hoping to get some magma cream. 
But of course, we got nothing out of that because we're not able to use looting in this world. We also went caving a little bit, found some diamond ores, but did not mine them. Thought we could save that for when we have Fortune 3. And we also found ourselves a skeleton spawner, which is just absolutely fantastic because it now means that we have a source of bone meal and XP in this world. Like, uh, if we make ourselves a proper skeleton grinder out of this, then uh, we're going to be in very good shape in this world. But yeah, the way that this has worked out, I'd quite like to view the stream lights as like a power source or like a a current, I guess, powering the, the nether portal or something. I don't know. And just behind the nether portal, we've got a little bit of space back here. And we've, I just wanted to outline the portal itself with glowstone to make the portal give off like a brighter light. Although it might be a bit pointless now with all of the stream lights that I've added, but who knows? Maybe it'll make some sort of difference. Maybe it won't. We'll see how that goes. And we've had a couple of suggestions of how to deal with the witch. And I'm not sure I want to actually kill it. But one of the things I would like to show off is powder snow. And how the powder snow is not actually going to be good enough to kill a witch. So let's grab ourselves some powder snow from the mountains here. We've got plenty of that stuff. It's probably the easiest suggestion that was given to me. I just don't think it'll work. So let's just grab ourselves some powder snow. There we go. How long is this poison going to last for? <laughs> it's still going. Right, so let's just place that here. Get in the boat. And we'll boat our witch over to that block here. There we go. Fantastic. And now let's run away before we die. Good. Okay. Pretty low right there. <laughs> But yeah, this witch should slowly freeze over time. But the reason why I don't think the witch will die is because it's going to be constantly drinking health potions. Like, I, I can see it actually drinking. It's it's not going to die here. <laughs> that is unfortunate. But I'll tell you what, she's going to be feeling rather cool. And we now have 30 levels for me to use with the enchanting table as well. And I think what we should do is craft ourselves a new diamond pickaxe and try to get ourselves Fortune 3. And we're not going to be able to make use of those 30 levels without 15 bookshelves. And I do believe that we now have enough cows to create those bookshelves with. The main issue though is that we need to kill them. But let's just craft ourselves a new diamond pickaxe. There we go. Now let's deal with those cows. So it would be extremely painful to go in there with the stick and try to whack them all with that. And burning them with lava, that's going to leave me with uh, some of the leather being burned. So we're not going to do that either. So instead, we're going to go with a rather pointy approach. Oh, there we go. I think all of the babies have grown up. So let's do this. <laughs> and you call my unconventional weapons unsatisfactory. How is that? <laughs> so, let's go in and see just how much leather we've got in here. Hopefully, it'll be enough to complete our enchanting setup, and we'll be able to use all of our 30 levels. And I think that's everything, so let's just try and get out of this cow pen. Uh, there we go, and none of them escaped, that's good. Looks like we've got 46 leather. Very nice. That should be enough for 15 bookshelves total. In fact, I think the real limiting factor now is actually sugarcane. <laughs> I don't think I can actually make use of all of this leather. But I think I might just have enough for 15 bookshelves total anyway. So, let's craft them all up. Yeah, we've got enough. 11 bookshelves, and we only needed 10. So, let's just place them all up here. Just like so. And I think five on the back as well. Yeah, there we go. And now let's enchant. Let's see what we get on the pickaxe. We've got efficiency four just there. And let's see how it goes. Please give me fortune. No fortune three. That is unfortunate. I, um, uh, I was really counting on getting fortune three just then. So, uh, yeah, well, that might have to be unenchanted at some point very soon. We'll see how that goes. Luckily, though, 30 levels isn't going to be too far out of reach, I don't think. Because I do have a, oh, oh, shoot. Um, let's just stick that back on. I heard you. I heard your little pitter-patter of feet. Come in, come here. Why did you have to interrupt me like that? Come on. Burn for you. Ow! I was going to say burn for me. You've just made me burn. That wasn't very nice of you. But yeah, what I wanted to say is that luckily we have this skeleton spawner that we'll be able to turn into an XP grinder. So 30 levels is hopefully not going to be too far away. I also got plenty of name suggestions for this donkey. And I quite liked 
a, quite a few of them, but I think my favourite is actually going to be Rosemary. So thank you for that, Billy the Reaper. This donkey is now going to be called Rosemary. How do you like that name, Rosemary? I'm not going to be able to name you just yet because I don't have a name tag, but I hope you like it. Oi! What have I told you, pillagers, about trespassing in the Valley of Plenty? Come back here. You're not allowed to invade the nether. Only I have that permission, so burn for me. There. There we go. And there we go. Another squad of pillagers down. And yeah, I think I was right about the powder snow being completely useless against the witch. It's still here. <laughs> It's been a good long while now, and she's still drinking away. I've got to say, though, I quite like the idea of letting this witch live. So, give me a name suggestion, everyone. What should we call this witch in the future? Let me know in the comments down below. And I've just been interrupted by this friendly gentleman over here. What have you got for me? Uh, this is all completely useless. I'm sorry, but get sticked. Well, he met a very sticky end. And you know what? I'm stealing your llamas too. Let's just take them over to the pen here. There we go. Let's just run away. Please stop shooting at me. Uh, oh my god, this sounds disgusting. The spit has splash damage. I did not know that. <laughs> oh dear. That's disgusting. Ah, check it out. My starter house's roof is becoming fully oxidized. So next time I'll be able to show you guys what the roof is supposed to look like. It's supposed to have like a a rainbow effect going from like oxidized up to non-oxidized at the top and so we'll be able to scrape all of the oxidation off next time and hopefully we'll be able to wax it and yeah i think it's a very cool effect i have to wait until the next episode to show you all that though i think we're gonna have to call it the end of the episode there though so i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one bye thanks for watching